Hello friends, the topic of today's discussion is Corey Fuchs reaction. In this lecture, we will discuss the following points. General introduction, mechanism, examples and some modifications. Corey Fuchs reaction is a two-step process for the conversion of an aldehyde to homologous terminal alkyne. In step 1, aldehyde undergoes Wittig reaction with dibromomethylene triphenylphosphonium illid in situ generated by the reaction between triphenylphosphine and tetrabromomethane to produce 1,1-dibromoolefin. In step 2, 1,1-dibromoolefin reacts with a strong base like N-butyl lithium followed by aqueous workup to produce terminal alkyne. The first step was discovered by Desai, McKelvey and Ramirez and the second step is known as Fris buttenberg wichel rearrangement. Mechanism of Corey Fuchs reaction Triphenylphosphine attacks on bromine of tetrabromomethane to generate bromo triphenylphosphonium cation and tribromomethyl anion. Tribromomethyl anion attacks on the phosphorus atom of bromo triphenylphosphonium ion to produce tribromomethyl triphenyl phosphonium bromide. Second molecule of triphenyl phosphine attacks on bromine of tribromomethyl group to generate dibromomethylene triphenyl phosphonium elite. So, Corey Fuchs reaction requires two equivalents of triphenyl phosphine. This illid attacks on aldehyde to produce beaten intermediate which cyclizes to give phosphatin intermediate. Removal of triphenylphosphine oxide from the phosphatin gives 1,1-dibromoolefin. Metal exchange reaction of 1,1-dibromoolefin olefin with n-butyl lithium gives lithiated intermediate which undergoes alpha elimination to produce vinylidene carbene. This vinylidene carbene undergoes 1 to migration to produce terminal alkyne. These are some of the examples of Corey Fuchs reaction where we can see that aromatic as well as aliphatic aldehydes have been converted to their corresponding homologous terminal alkyne. We can also convert dialdehydes to diines. These are the examples showing conversion of aromatic and aliphatic dialdehydes into corresponding diines using Corey Fuchs reaction conditions. Modifications of Corey Fuchs reaction condition Haloforms like bromoform can be used instead of CBr4. Use of zinc dust as an additive equal to the moles of triphenylphosphine increases yield of a step 1 product that is 1,1-dibromoalkene. Use of more than two equivalents of base and then addition of an electrophile before aqueous workup yields disubstituted alkyne.
This is because with the first equivalent of n-butyl lithium, halogen exchange takes place. After that, second equivalent is used for the elimination process to produce lithium salt of terminal alkyne. This is a very good nucleophile that reacts with the upcoming electrophile to produce disubstituted alkyne. For example, if we use iodine as an electrophile, we will get iodoalkyne. Use of carbon dioxide as an electrophile will give carboxylic acid. Methyl chloroformate will give methyl ester. TMS chloride gives TMS protected alkyne. Methyl iodide will give methyl substituted alkyne and use of aldehyde as an electrophile will give alcohol.